Okay, so, so far we made quite a few pages. And now we will work on this one. So for, for those two pages, I will use this purple background and I will use this paper. I have two sheets of this. And this one is from my special papers. I know a lot of you got this one. It was purchased from Joanne Fabric. I know that they were um, out of stock. I don't know if they currently still have it or not. So I will start with this page. So the page is five and three quarters. So I will cut the base to six and a half. And then I will cut three strips. I will cut three inches. two inches and one inch strip. Let me trim this. So this will be one inch. And we will score. So the widest piece we will score on three sides half inch on all three sides and now the other two pieces we will score only on two sides half an inch and half an inch and the same thing on this one half an inch and half an inch So now we will fold okay and this piece we will cut right across through that corner on both sides and we will cut little angle at the edge. On those two pieces we will fold and then just a small angle on four sides okay and we will do the same thing to this one fold it and small angles on four sides. Okay, so now we will glue this just like that. So a little bit of glue on all three sides. and glue it just like that. So now we got two pieces left and we will glue them this way. One above the other. Just like this. All right. I'm leaving about half an inch space, maybe quarter inch in between. And the last piece. And 
and I'm trying to leave just about the same spacing in here as I did in here. All right, so now the width measures five and a half. So now we will cut this piece to five and a quarter. And you know, I think I want these purple flowers. So five and a quarter. And now the first bot bottom to cover the bottom panel, it's gonna be two and a quarter. The second one, one and three quarters. And the last one will be only three quarters of an inch. So now I am paying attention to the direction because those flowers are going up and as you can see this is almost as a continuation of the flowers coming up. And the last one right here. And I do have some of those really delicate die cuts and I think I will apply them right here. Kinda on the top, on each corner just to give it a little bit dimension to this page. And yet we have a little bit space in here left to put maybe a little tag or some kind of sign or a stamp, something like that. So let me just apply little dabs of glue. just a little bit so this is holding nicely and it's really glued i want this to be really flashed and glued because when we place something on the inside i don't want this to be coming off This one doesn't have a glue. Okay. And we do the same thing to this one. And I'm basically trying to give just a little bit more dimension. So this page is done and basically you can put something on the front. If you got something longer, you can put it all the way through. So you do have packets for 
different size <coughs> of different things you want to place in here. So now on this side we will I will match the colors. I still want to use the same color as I used it in here. So I do have some of that purple left. And what I want to do is actually create packet, but I want to create packet on this side. So we will cut the paper to six and a half. I'm sorry, the page height is eight. So I'm going to leave it just the way it is. And this is eight and three quarters. And I will cut this down to three and a half. <coughs> okay, so since we are here already, um, I need to score this first. So we will score three sides just like we are making a regular packet. Three sides, half an inch. We will fold that. Burnish. And we do the same thing as we have done previously. We're going to cut it on the angle through the corners. We're going to trim, make a little angle on the top. And we will position this packet this way. There is a reason why I'm doing this. And we will do it just like that. And I still have this paper left. That's what's left over from this side. And I think I'm going to apply it just like this on top of it. So this packet is three inches by seven and a half. So I will cut this down to two and three quarters. By seven and a quarter. And I will apply it just like that. Now for this, I do want to make something special. I want to make additional packet also towards the side. And to do that, I am going to use the leftover purple that I have. And we will make a packet right in here. So, This will be just simple packet. I'm gonna make three and a half inches long. We 
and I will position just like that and I will apply the glue only to three sides. Just like that. Now I do have some of some more of those cutouts and I will place it in here as a decoration. Now I do want to wipe out some of that glue. It will dry clear. So, but I think it gives this extra look. Now, I made this because we will be using that packet. We will make something for that packet. Okay, so for now those pages are done. We will do something extra for this packet later on when we try to decorate the whole thing. So as you can see our junk journal is getting much much thicker. So, so far we have quite few pages already made for our journal, junk journal. So now we will work on this page. So for this page I will start with using some cardstock. So the page itself measures five and three quarters by eight. So I will cut this cardstock to five and a quarter and this way we will cut to four inches. So we should end up with three pieces. So the card stack that I'm using is 12 by 12. So I will glue this just like that, that half an inch that we scored and I will glue it right here at the top. So I'm leaving a little bit of space. Now I will open this and we will glue another piece right underneath. So we are creating this almost like a waterfall effect. And the same process. So now this waterfall we will also use, we will create a little packet on the bottom. The packet will be a little bit bigger than this waterfall which measures five and a quarter. So I will cut another piece of cardstock. Let me just measure what the dimension is. It's not going to be long enough. So, okay. So, I'm going to have to cut it this way too. 
three inches and this way we will do six and a half now we will also score this piece on three sides half inch half inch and half inch we will fold and this will create the pocket for the bottom so now I will cut through the corner on the angle just like that on both sides and the top only almost like a half a V shape from the score to the end and we will glue this just like that to the bottom of the page okay and this will be our packet I apologize I have window open and there is somebody riding motorcycle all right so now this packet we made anything you put in here will serve as a closure so now we just need to decorate this page and I want to use something light and bright for this page yet something that would match this side so I'm choosing this paper and I want all of this to flow so what I'm gonna do is create we're going to pre-cut to cover the base and the top. So the packet is about five and a half. So I'm going to cut this paper to five and a quarter. The height of the packet it should be two and a half. So we will cut two and a quarter. So we will position this right here. Now from this, I want it to match this paper. So this is four inches. Is it four or three and a half? Three and a half. So we're gonna cut another piece that is three and a quarter. And that will cover this top portion and of course it's too wide because the top was five and a quarter so we need to trim this to five inches so now I will glue this the entire piece just like that and we're gonna glue this one to the top right here so let's make sure this adheres and you see this would be the closure so now these pages I do want to leave them black but I do want to decorate this space right here in between so I am gonna take the paper and I will cut only approximately quarter of an inch and I will cut two strips this is for page decoration only it really doesn't serve any other purpose and let's see <clears throat> what the length is this is too long we need to trim it and we're gonna make this one same length
just like that and I will just apply a small strip of glue and position right here and the same thing with this one all right so at least visually it's I think it's pleasant now when you open this I don't really want to put much around here because I think you can glue something in here you know or you can apply just plain cardstock with and make little notes and you know maybe that's what I will do so since we are working with light colors I'm gonna use this to actually create a little writing space and that will be we will cut it to approximately three inches by five so three inches tall by five inches five inches and I think I'm gonna create another one so three inches by five so we have three of them so I'm thinking we can use this for writing and maybe in here you can put anything you like so let me apply the glue and here we got the first one done we got second and we're going to apply the third one just like that right in here just like that all right and this page is just about done if you like I have little cardstock left small piece I can create additional packet little packet in here to store something really small so I'm gonna cut this one too let's see this is I'm gonna cut it down to two inches and I don't want it that long <clears throat> so I'm gonna make maybe three and a half And I will cut it on an angle and as you can see no particular design just little angle cut and we can place this right in here so glue only on two sides and here it is additional little packet so on this side on this side I will use the leftover cardstock that I have and this is still I believe 12 inches a little bit less than 12 inches so the page is five and three quarters I'm gonna use five inches so this paper it is 12 so 12 one two three four five we got seven inches to play with and maybe I do it from this side five inches that's gonna be the width the closure itself 
we will make three. Okay, so scoring at five and eight, and then we will score at eleven and eleven and a half. So the last score that we have, where we scored at eleven and a half, we will cut this off. We also have a score that we did at eight inches. We will make it cut right there. So this is what we have. We have the five inch piece with the score and we have another piece with the score. So what we're gonna do, this will be the closure. We're gonna apply this just like that and this right underneath, like this. So let me glue this and I'm pushing this all the way to the corner. Okay. So this is how this will look like. Now, I like to make this little storage space, so we're gonna need flap from the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna use some of the paper that I have left, and this is the cardstock I had left. So, this top measures five inches. So I will cut this paper to, let me see, is this five? Let me trim this to five. And now we will cut to two and a half and we will need two pieces. And two and a half. And I will score this at half an inch, both pieces we will score at half an inch. One and two. So let's fold the score just like that. Now these corners, I really don't like those square corners, so I'm just going to round them up on both pieces. Just like that, and we're going to glue this right underneath, right in here. So you see, that will become a little flat. So let's apply the glue. Let's close this and let's make sure that we can close easily those both sides. And we're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Okay, just underneath. Both sides, sides we can close it freely. Alright, so this will be packet for this side. And now we can just glue the entire piece to the page. Just like that. So let's make sure everything adheres. And now when we open this, we have everything in here is white. So we can keep it and leave it the way it is, or you can decorate it. I'm choosing to keep it the way it is because when you start storing different things in here, maybe you do want to write something. So I'm going to keep 
all of this white I'm gonna put some type of paper right here on the back and just to give a little bit color I'm gonna choose this middle portion of this paper for inside so let's measure this is five by six and three quarters so I will cut this off and we need four and three quarters let me double check the dimension six and three quarters so we need to cut this to six inches and I'm paying attention in here because I don't want the flowers so I'm gonna cut it here and then six and a half and we will place this right here Now you have plenty space to write something and we have our closure. The closure we're going to make it a little bit different way. For the closure I will use some of this leftover paper that I have but I don't necessarily want too much flowers. So what I'm going to do I am going to cut one inch strip and I will place it just like that in here now I'm putting glue only on those two sides I will put it somewhere on the middle of that panel and I'm squishing just a little bit because I want to create this little opening in here So now I'm going to take another piece of leftover paper that I have and I'm choosing to use a little bit of a contrast in here yet it's going to match this page. So I want this strip to be approximately one inch. So I'm going to score at three quarters. I'm going to score at one and three quarters and then I need another three quarters which would be two and a half and now the last score two and a half I will just cut this off because that piece will be too wide and now I will fold that and I will glue it just like that So let me apply glue to this panel. Let's make sure this adheres. We're going to apply glue to this panel. And let's glue this. Because we really want a design on both sides. So I want this to become the closure right here. So this piece is too long, I will cut it somewhere here and that will be the closure. So I think this looks just way too plain so we can do something to decorate this. So let me just first apply some glue gonna put this inside and glue it just like that now I do have this left so we can actually create a little bit of a design I am gonna cut a little triangle in here and we can create something like that Okay. 
all right so as you can see we just fold it over slip this and the more papers you're going to have in here you can see it, that this will be flexible and you're going to be able to really store quite few things on the inside now this if you don't like for this to be that straight we can cut little angles on the side just like that but you still have the closure so we just completed another page I hope you like it I think you have plenty of spaces to put something in here write a little note You got your packets for different things. You got packet in here for something small. And I have some sticky notes in here. So we can just put something right there if you like. And in here we have another opening and as you can see, this is kind of bending a little bit. So that's really no big deal. Let me just put something underneath. And we can cut just a slight angle. And I will redo my corner. So, as you can see, this is really easy, very simple, and another page is done. So, during next video, we are already midway. So, I hope you like everything we have done so far. I think it's turning out really nice. As you can see, it's gaining some bulk. So, I am very happy with the outcome so far. I hope you are too. So I will see you in the next video with another page.